leg is out again. Right, by the power of Stevie TV, let's just turn that light that way because it's making the camera go funny. So using off cuts, I managed to get the rest of the, um, the OSB boarding done. So I haven't done it down here. So I can't do anything here until I've run everything for the filter. The electric board I've got to play around with um, and give it a bit of a spruce up, bit of a paint. I left this gap here on purpose before anyone says so. Just means I can tuck all my cables behind there once we're done. Um, but yeah, just got to do the ceiling around the edge. Sorry if the light makes the phone go funny. Um, everything's had two coats except from a little bit down there and that wall you can see is a bit patchy. But yeah, it's done. Sorry I jumped ahead. Sorry I didn't film me painting and whatnot. Uh, so what I'm doing now is just sealing the coping stones on the pond. That's why I clean the pond. That's not um, the sealer, don't panic. Um, all I use is a patio uh, patio driveway sealer, block paving sealer. Um, you can see the difference. So I've got, I haven't done this one, but I've done this one. So it just goes a little bit shiny and uh, seals it. Makes it a slightly bit darker as well, actually, which is nice. But yeah, just gonna work my way around the edge. I filled the holes, ready to put a bit of mastic on top. And then that'll be it, I think. Yes, I've got to get the mask out anyway to do in there, so I'll do that at once. Sorry if the picture's a bit shit. I've got the electric off. I've jumped ahead again, so I'm just making some adjustments to this. I've moved my tap position. I've just realised that's on the piss, but never mind. Um, so yeah, just getting this in. Obviously this will come round somewhere. Um, over on that side to feed the drum. So all I'm doing, I've got one more bend to use, so they'll come round and then up roughly where I think the filter's gonna be. Cause I can play around with it once it's at the top. So that would be all right, but yeah, coming along. Oh, let's go over here so you can see that. So I've got my air, air pumps back on their shelves. Um, just waiting for this. Just made a little bracket that I've painted to go underneath that. I will clean all this off. Look at the paint everywhere. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna crack on with the water and uh, yeah, be back soon. All right, moment of truth. Actually, I've got one thing to move quickly, but I'll do that in a minute. In un minute. So there's the riser. I haven't cut that to size yet, but everything is off. So should we go ahead and Release the water. Under pressure. I can hear ticking. Like a Titanic. I don't know if you can hear that on the camera. Water full on. Wow. First time. I say I just got to kick this along a bit. I leave the water on for a bit. I don't know what was ticking. Oh. So this is my tap. Take the air out of the system. Don't know what's going on out there with the dogs. Good actually. Um, always remember to purge your water before connecting your filters. Get all the swarf and shit out. You'd be surprised at how much crap's in there. That's not a job for today. <laughs> I'm all wet now. Right, uh, electric's got to carry on with them. Yikes, I'm spraying water around. Mind you, it is off, but yeah. So yeah, I've got to kick that along a bit, and then that'll, uh... mind you, it's all right where it's sitting, to be fair. At least it's tight in this corner. Sorry, filming the wall there. Right, there we go, that's another job job. I need the wet the wall all wet now. Right, I'm gonna go and do the electrics, and that'll be it for tonight. I'm knackered, and I've got work tomorrow, and I need to tidy up everywhere. Look at it. Right, morning all. Right, 
time to get on with some pipe work. So, um, it's a bit chaotic because we've got the guys here from Octopus fitting the um, charger, the electric car charger. So, um, I've been out, got lots of parts, lots of pipe work parts. Um, I've probably got more than I need, but I don't really want to be falling short or running out. So my first job today is we're going to do airline. Um, yeah, I'm thinking the airline, I'm going to have two. So one that's going to go to the bottom drain. And my initial plan was to run that in hard pipe up. But I'm just wondering actually if that's... Um, a bit pointless now whether I just do my air connections down here because I'm gonna to have to have an airline run here so what I'm gonna have is the 40 pump excuse the light again 40 pump going to the bottom drain which is this did little inchy one and then the 120 I'm gonna to have to here and then run a splitter so one goes off to the filter and then um, the additional will go back to the pond via a diverter there oh dear I've lost all uh, enthusiasm this morning. Um, the other thing I want to do is I, I don't, I did heat this up to bend the pipe around slightly, but it's not quite enough. But I didn't want to move the UV any further or the UV couldn't be moved any further that way. So what I'm going to do is I might put 245s, excuse me, 245s on there to get it closer to the wall. But in saying that though, I don't know if that's necessary. It will push over slightly because it's on a rubber fixing. I mean, to be fair, that's probably gonna be, I'm never gonna get it closer than that anyway. What I might do is just fit a bracket underneath just to hold it there. It just means the pipe out the UV has just got a slight kink in it, but again, because it's on a rubber connection. Um, yeah, the plan was actually to replace these rubbers with plastic, but I'm not sure that's gonna be necessary. Um, yeah, because this will be the end of the filter roughly here. And then obviously got pump out, need to connect to the heater line and then back to the UV. I've got, it's still covered in paint, I will clean this. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have a think about that. But first of all, I'm gonna do the air, get that sorted and we'll go from there, I think. So I'll catch you back in a little bit and hopefully I've made my mind up. Right, I jump jobs, um, I do need to, I'm gonna take that all the way to the corner. It's a sensible thing to do, but I need to go down Icklesham Coin and get some pipe. But for now, what I'm doing, so as I said, I'm splitting off of one line, so the 120 litre. So all I'm doing is putting that term Y bracket in, Y diverter in, whatever I want to call it, Y junction. So now I've got one that will come up here and be on a tap so I can control the flow into the drum. And then obviously the other one I'm just taking loose into the corner Actually, that's absolutely... No, no that's, that's right, sorry. Thick as shit, aren't I? Golly, getting confused myself. So, yeah, the, the 40 litre goes onto the hard pipe, but this one will go to the 120 and get split. Jesus. I need to write myself a list or something. I think I'm thinking hard because I need a poo as well. I always struggle to think when I really need a poo because the men are indoors doing the octopus thingy. I can't go in and have a poo, can I? Oh, God, I'm going to have to hold it. Right, anyway, I'm gonna join this up now, just tack this along up, up to the 120 valve. That's the point then. Yeah, look, I've hooked that up. That's why I'm getting confused. So I've hooked the, the 40 litre line to the 120 pump, which is absolutely stupid. And I've tacked it, what a prat. Right, I'm gonna go and put that right, otherwise it's gonna keep confusing me. It doesn't take a lot. The joints are a bit tight. Just get in there with a bit of heat. Get the old blow torch on them. Don't no, be gentle. Just makes it a lot easier to get them on and off. Right, it's all tacked in. So that corner I've got to leave alone now until the filter's in. So what I'm gonna do is turn my attention. I said to you about this earlier on. Excuse light, so this was a flexi joint. I just wanna put it back to a rigid joint. Um, reason I had to do it was when I put this pipe in, I couldn't get it in as one because I slided it through the hole to the pond the other side. So what I had to do is break it into two so I could then sort of fold it into the wall, if that makes sense. Um, but I did it as a flexi joint. Um, I think that was all I had at the time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna replace it with a rigid joint. Um, so you'll see that I've scuffed this up. 
So I've marked out where my pressure pipe's gonna go to just with a Sharpie. Um, I've scuffed up with a 150 grit. So these, the pressure pipe, I'll get that to focus, has this shiny coating, this finish on it. So it's good just to scuff it up slightly on both sides. Just helps that glue break down the inside and fuse it together. So my choice of tip hole is the good old um, weld on, the wet are dry. Be careful with this stuff, especially in um, humid weather. Um, it even says on it, extremely fast setting. It's an absolute pain in the arse, it goes off so quick, but um, it is good stuff. I've never had it fail. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get that in. And just like that, ta-da! Here we go, rubber joint gone, pressure pipe fitting in. Lovely jubbly, and I've just tied it back with a dodgy old cable tie for now, just until I get my rest of my pipe working. Next job. All right, just been down to the shop. So just mocking up this um, airline, so it comes back to the back to the corner. So just dry fitting, same principle again. Just rough them up. See inside them, bit of focus. Just uh, roughed up slightly. Excuse me, doing this one-handed. So literally, it's just going to sit on there like that. He says, and then the straight pipe will come through. So I'm going to glue that up now, and we'll see what it looks like. Mum don't want to be on YouTube, but. She's very kindly, hello. <laughs> She's very kindly just giving me a hand. Look, look how well it sits in here. Huh? Ouch, me head. Oops. So now it's time to start getting it plumbed in. So you see where the bottom drain is. As I say, I do want to bring that over slightly for the 45s. But yeah, air pipes down there. Beautiful. Happy as Larry, has got to come up a lot. So next step, I've got a, very stupidly, before I took the Nexus out, I didn't mark my water line, my resting water line. Thicker shit. Yeah, thicker shit, thank you, Mum. Um, so what I'm gonna have to do is get my level, mark it on this wall, and then mark it on that wall. Uh, and then I can start working out where it's got to be, because I've got a feeling this has got to come up quite, oh God, I've got a feeling this has got to come up quite a bit, because there's the static level. It's quite handy, actually, it's in there. And then you can see how much it drops, obviously, when in, um, when it's working. Get my words out. Um, but you can also see if you've got a problem. All right, here we go. Right, let's get this stack level done. And then on to the next job. All right, that's all I've done. Good old CT1. Um, what I've done is I've just, to get a temporary benchmark, just to put my level off of. Um, I wish I had my um, laser level from work. But never mind, so all I've done is measure, obviously my water line, my existing water line. Replicated that on the opposite side. Now that just give me somewhere to rest my level, just so I can then mark it just on the inside of the door. And then from there, obviously I can then take it back onto this and then I can transfer that across to the filter. Right, let's go and do this. I'm gonna put you down because uh, I can't multitask. Right, I've got you propped up. Let's just take the lid off. I don't want to scratch any of it. It's all new. Um, so, you won't be able to see this, but on this wall here, he says, I can know you won't be able to see it. I can't see it. There it is. Uh, there. Right there. So there's my water line there. So I need to roughly get the filter in place just so I can measure across. Because all I'm going to do is run the level across level, and then I can literally dip down in this corner and whatever it is to the static level, obviously I know that's what I've got to build it up by. I'm hoping it's not too much. Um, what I might do actually is go and get me block. So what I can do, make life a bit easier, let's use a slightly smaller screw though. I mean, it's always okay to be low because you can bring it up, but what you can't do is be high and bring it down because it's concrete. So let's just get this on there quickly. All right, sorry about that. Battery uh, storage full on the phone, actually. So I've just put this in here. I'm not going to show you this, but all I'm going to very quickly do is run the level across, dip down, and then I know how big the frame's going to be. As my phone is now completely chock-a-block, um, 
there'll be no recording this afternoon so when you come back i'll probably have a, a load of stuff done but yeah i'll uh, catch you in a bit but uh, any of the important stuff i'll make sure uh, we're all good for all right there we go just very quickly knocked up that frame i was talking about you won't see the back so i didn't bother painting it but it's just small sleepers funny enough worked out perfect depth so just a bit of leveling up a bit of sponge at the front um yeah now it's a case of getting it lifted on there and we're ready to go i think what i'll do is put the end caps on blanking caps now um and then i ain't got to worry about it once they're in a voice so uh, yeah back to me bag of bits get two of them out oh not three and i may as well put the one and a half inch one or two inch one on as well all mounts up these fittings but yeah so next time you see me i'll have it in place hopefully i'm keeping recording to a minimum still because uh yeah my phone's full i really should uh get a gopro or something i'm not very professional slap on the wrist all right very quickly so just trying to work out how to get from here to up there um so i've got my ball valve these things are so big aren't they look at it look at it uh, so I've got my 90 to go into the drum and I'm just trying to work out. So I've cut a short piece, sanded one side of it and the other side will go into the 90 on the rubber. Um, but yeah, just beveled the edges slightly, sanded them down, ready to key up and uh, mock fit and then hopefully it'll work out. So coming out 45 straight with the ball valve, a little straight into the 45, uh, into the 90 and then into the drum. Well, hopefully that's the plan. But uh, yeah, we shall see. We shall see. All, right, all mocked up where I need it, he says. So what I'm going to do now is just mark on each one. So I know exactly where all this fits back together. Otherwise, I will cock it up. Because this is literally millimetres make a difference here. Yeah? An angle or two here is accelerated at the top or amplified at the top. So just going to mark them up. And then I'm not going to film this because I don't really want to fuck it up. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll come back to you. All right, that's it for tonight. i got to go work early in the morning. Bottom drain's all in. The ball valve, the others are blocked off. I just started doing the drainage. Um, problematic side is getting the pump fitted limited space of what I can do. So I'm gonna to have to make up some sort of best spoke bracket. So I wanna mount the pump vertical, not horizontal, but I need to make a, a nice, like I say, best spoke bracket that's gonna hold it. Um, I'll show you that when I do it, it'll be Saturday now, a couple of days away. Oh, what a day. So. Oh, what a day. I know, it's all a bit much, isn't it? But yeah, it's starting to look a bit more like a filter house. Get some nice pickies on the wall. Nice picture of me up there, I reckon. And the old buff. Right. I'll see you in a couple of days. Morning all. I'll say morning. Just got back from uh, my good friends, Eko Shankoy. Just had to get some extra bits and pieces. Um, today, I ended up working yesterday, um, which was a right nightmare. So I've lost two days this week, so I'm way bloody behind. Um, mind you, um, again, some good, really good friends of ours. So, when I did some fencing, um, stick a clip in here so you can see it. But yeah, plan today is everything else is in, so I need to get the waste in down that side. I need to get my pump fitted and in all hunky dory, and then I've got to put bottom drain back on. There's something else I've got to do in here, but oh, I need to seal. That was uh, used to be an inlet. Um, I just noticed there's a, not a jagged edge, but there's a bit of a um, a spot where bacteria could get caught. So I just want to give that a quick CT one up so it dries. Remove some media out the bottom because I keep dropping it. Uh, but yeah, going to clear all this shit out now, and then I'm just going to crack on and get it done. So I'll join you back. So from the waste, um, oh, I'll show you in a minute. So just out here in the shit hole garage. Um, what I want to do is make a bit of a best spoke bracket so I can mount my... I might have said this already, um, but I'm actually in here doing it now, so you'll have to listen. Um, God damn it. There we go. 
Um, want to make a bit of a bespoke bracket for um, the Evolution Aqua. Very pumped, 20,000. I want it to sit upright, but for that, it does need something to hold it. So in terms of the actual bottom of the filter, you'll know that they're rounded. Um, and it is um, in terms of size, it's the same as that. So I think that's going to be good enough. So what I'm actually going to do is this will be the bottom. I think it'll look pretty, but I'm not really fussed about that. Um, and then I'm going to just make a, a, a two-inch upstand that goes around it with the cutouts for the handle and the cable. Um, I mean, it should, in theory, look lovely. Lovely. But we shall see. Let's have a look. As I say, it's going to be hidden, but check out this absolute bush fix. So, obviously foam inserts are now on the bottom. Keep it quiet. It literally just is a clamp and I just close it onto the filter. But obviously I can get that in and out now. I could have cut it to the exact size, but I didn't have very, um, the right diameter hole saw, but it'll do, but it just brings it up level now. Oh, you can't see in there. Brings it up level with the, uh, the actual box. So I'm just gonna give this a quick wipe down and then we can start getting things fitted at last. All right, that's ball light done. Pumps in. So cap off on one. The middle one's waste, so I'll just hook up a flexi pipe to that one. I've got to drain it, 90 into the pump, 45, 45. And annoyingly, if this was all raised up now, um, I could have gone and got a bit higher, but uh, I'm working to existing. So now I've got to come across, all this is done. Uh, those two are strapped up. That one's obviously plugged in, and now I just need to do the waste. So I've just got somewhere knocking around, he says. Uh, just a standard four inch to one and a half inch this is actually um so yeah that's just going to go on there and i'm going to run my waist around the door because eventually i will put a step in here to stop me um standing on everything so uh, yeah i won't show you i'll just get on with it but that's it four to one and a half everybody's happy all right that's the waste all plumbed in so everything plumbing wise except from the water feed is done so drainage run runs around the room now the thing that i've just turned my attention to so um, I just boxed this in slightly. I didn't want to cut any of the wires or shorten any of the wires for the um, pumps and that, just in case I ever move them. So I just built something to tuck that down the back. Now I'm just making a step. That's only a one coat for you saying anything. Um, just going to make a quick step just to come out a bit further, just so it covers all the pipe work. So uh, I'm not standing on it. You can see the marks. Um, every time I come in here, I manage to stand on it somehow. Lord knows how, but never mind um so yeah then the water feed and then tidy and then we're ready to start filling up and about bloody time too but oh my god i'm nervous right sorry folks jump ahead so penultimate thing um i've just put the airline in uh the only thing i've got to do quickly is chuck a valve on there um and i don't know if you can see down the back but just use a bit of push fit a bit of pex pipe um I've done my thing, so there's a little valve on there so I can control the water flow, which I normally, it's quite high water pressure, so I normally turn it down and there, you can see it through there as well. Look. Oh, there we go. And then the other thing I've done is just use, so it's a standard, are these standard three quarter inch? Yeah, it must be three quarter inch. Um, so I've just got a standard airline, 90 degree elbow, and then I've reinforced my 12 mil airline. This is quite a nice thick one, braided. Um, just to reinforce it on the inside and then that's fitted in there nice and tight so the other thing to do now is hook up the electrics and i believe other than tidy look at the mess i've made <laughs> look at all that mess other than that i'm good to go right that was the last bit of pipe work so i've got my old bracket on and then i've just used an old ea valve that i had so it's just going to allow me to control the water uh, the air sorry water can't even see the bio let's pitch black um, just going to allow me to control that a bit easier. But yeah, that is it. So now all I've got to do is put the control box up, which will go, I don't know, over there or over there. I don't know. I'll see what it looks like. Um, but yeah, then that's it. Thank Christ. It's been a, a long three days working on it. It's been a long week off or five days. Ended up working two of the days. I will tidy this mess up. Um, but yeah, we finally got there in the end. So got lots of shit to clean off of this. Um, but yeah, then we're done. We'll fire her up. Right, this is uh, another part of the improvements. So uh, this will come, funny enough, after you would have probably seen the video. Um, filling it up. 
But yeah, so this came the other day. So this is from Coil Water Barn. So Amir arranged this for me. So it's something they're gonna be doing. Um, I purchased this, it's not free. Um, but basically what it is, is I've always struggled with um, the fox and that, so I have to have a net. But nets from the um, likes of Blagden and that. So they're blagging it, aren't they? Um, I think there's one from, I can't think it's not, it is Superfish, isn't it, the other net? It's not much cop, so this comes from a decent net supplier. Um, and then it is wrapped in vinyl around the edge with the eyelets. So I'm just going to fix mine to the top. Um, I think it's going to be a faff, but I'd rather it be a faff whilst the pond is empty i think so I'm gonna unravel it it is custom made so when you order this from here you let him know his uh, your size of your pond or the size of the opening that you want to cover um, and it literally just gets ordered i've not unwrapped this one so i bloody well hope it's the right one or the right size um if not i'm absolutely well and truly screwed so uh, yeah this um i'll put you on time lapse but uh yeah wish me luck i was having a sweep up making loads of dust <laughs> that is temporary behind him just you know he's got a panel of wood to go on it but that's the net fitted check this out i mean you can barely you can barely see it so all it is is i've done it just with the um stainless steel hex bolts and then to tor uh to tension it so either end there's a single line with a cleat so i can always pull it tight ever to show you look like a springboard, isn't it? Yeah. Ain't bad. Um, being honest, right? I have to be completely honest. I bought two smaller. I measured it wrong, um, which was really annoying. It should actually be a couple of inches, so an inch wider either side, which I'm really pissed off about. Um, but such is life. I can't send it back because obviously it's custom, so it would have gone to waste, and I would have lost me money. So yeah, but that's it. That's the um, the net on. Uh, yeah, can't say much more now. I've got to tighten this one up quickly because I've been working from the other side. But again, steam. It's because the fiberglass is hot. I don't know if you can see that. So this one has a cleat at the back as well, so I can increase the tension. Increase the tension. But yeah, there you go. A net, and not a woman that cuts your hair. Just like that, a few days later, it's on there, obviously the net's back now. Um, but yeah, ready to start filling her up again. So I'm just going to give one sweep out and hoover, just to get the dust off the bottom. And then that'll be it, we'll be filling it back up. So I'll see you in a bit. Last piece of the puzzle. The old spin drifter, giving it a good um, steam clean. Testing the filter, filling her up. Scary stuff. The hose is in. We're filling back up, so I'm going to get the pump out in a minute, pump out that pull. Um, and then tomorrow I'll pump the rest out of the, um, out of the swimming pool over there. So yeah, all right, just got to wait now. Right, it's night time now. I'm going to call it a day for this video. So that's it all plumbed in. Everything's filling up now. Look how clean the bottom is. For fresh and so clean. So tomorrow we'll start taking all this stuff down. Um, started putting the media in bags. So the Nexus will be up for sale. Probably want about 600 quid, 650 quid. Nexus 320. It's got like 200 litres of uh, bio. And it is spotless so yeah looking very rough sorry but uh yeah i'll see you here on the next one and we'll have a run through of everything set up the dust on my glasses um yeah we'll run through everything all set up and uh, we're hopefully working with no problems but uh, i'll keep you posted all right catch you later